Hello everybody, it's Fern, and today I'm going to be reacting to FKA Twig's Cellophane music video. Um, I listened to the album last time and now I'm going to be watching the music video to actually one of my favourite songs on the album. It's funny because like the whole album was amazing and I just felt so intensely about so much of it and Cellophane did have a slightly uh, more different sound if that makes sense to the rest of the album but it was certainly my favourite although I loved the sound of the rest of the album. I think it's just because it was so meaningful and you could really feel everything she was saying and it and it felt so genuine and truthful. And um, I think now hearing more from you guys, uh, you know, the album was very much about like her uh, relationships and the public and her depression and how she, you know, it was like a dark time and how she got out of it, I suppose. With that being said, let's watch the music video, Cellophane. She's so pretty. Wow. She looks amazing. Those shoes though. And like the the like sound of the shoes, like so being so pronounced and so on. It almost, you know, with it being that um loud, it feels like she's alone, if that makes sense, with the shoes. But then obviously you can hear the um crowd cheering. So there is noise going on, but like that kind of sound of the shoes is like what you would hear in a quiet stage or on a quiet hallway. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense or like has any relevance, but <laughs> yeah. Didn't I do it for you? Why don't I do it for you? When all I do is for you, they wanna see us, wanna see us now. There's something already like sad about it, like it's like she's performing for everyone and you know doing everything for everyone else and not really getting any thing in return uh, as you know in the terms of like validation, care, um, being heard, being seen, feeling real as a person not just a object, maybe a bit of that, bit of objectification going on. at doing that that's like an actual art and she's literally fantastic I don't want to have to share I get overwhelmed when you're wow. gone I have no one to tell it's funny how I was saying it's like she's alone because in a way all this is it's not showing the audience it's just showing her and maybe it's because uh, you know, it's metaphoric in a sense of like the audience isn't there in the room with her, but they are there, um, listening and spectating from their like homes, and it's in the tabloids or social media and so on. It's like there's a distance to it, and she's still like, but she's still performing. And these shoes they're giving, I feel like there's more to it. I feel like they're like, you know, they're heavy, they're hard to walk in, so they're slightly like. You know weighing her down I suppose and I'm not sure There's something about the shoes that I just feel drawn to <laughs> I just want to feel your wow. no. oh, goosebumps I drown, I get wow 
pretty spooky, honestly. Oh, I need to take it back a bit. What does this mean? <laughs> I so beautiful. Is that like her face as like a robot? Goosebumps. <laughs> it's like scary and amazing and beautiful and intriguing. I hate that sound though. Wow. What is this coming off of her? Like, is it like? The thing, that dragon thing? Is it like the, is it all the stuff that was from the dragon? What does this mean? This is amazing. She's obviously falling and falling. Um, maybe. Let me just keep watching. And tonight do it for you. So she's falling and she's falling she's falling into like an abyss and she's also it's now clipping between falling on the pole uh, is it like people want to see her fail people want to see her fall does she feel like she's falling from her like happiness she's falling from everything she had and now she's being burnt and hurt and she's falling the dragon with the masks is it fame is that fame and it was like the fame monster sort of thing <laughs> It's so beautifully done, the falling, every like little angle and all the little parts, it's just pure art and the lighting is beautiful and her skin complexion with that lighting is just so perfect, like the lighting is so golden and she has the green nails and it's just, oh, like, it just looks beautiful. It looks like she's falling into like a cave. I try. Just pushed down into the dirt, literally fallen into the dirt. When you're gone, I have no one to tell. The waiting, the waiting, the waiting, and hoping I'm not enough. Okay, I'm kind of interested what that bit at the end was. It made me emotional though. Like, there's all these people with masks on. Are they the other ladies that have been... Oh, it makes me really sad. You know, are they the other women that have also been fallen from their, like, towers, basically? and. I have no one to tell. And they cover her in the dirt. Um, is that because they are, is it like a join us thing and like we're here for you? Or is that just more like just trying to rub it in more? Just like you are what they say you are sort of thing. Like, I'm not sure. Um, so let's just like think about this. We had her coming out onto the stage. Uh, in those really high heels that were just so loud and obviously difficult to walk in but they but also they represent how high up she is and like how you know grandiose and tall and like you know in personality and in reputation or whatever you want to call it uh she is and then she gets on the pole and she's doing fantastically she's doing so amazingly she looks stunning there's cheers and so on and as she keeps going these the heels are still making such a sound um 
on the ground and so on, like the scraping and hitting, it's like you're just really aware of them, if that makes sense. And then she sees herself in a reflection of the floor. And as she looks at the reflection, it kind of, the pole kind of turns into like a beanstalk in a way. And at the top, there's this dragon. And then she's intrigued by the dragon. Maybe that's fame. So she's like, intrigued by something. I don't know what it is, whether that be fame or whatever it is in her life that was so intriguing. Um, because it seemed like she was already famous, so why would she be intrigued by the fame? Maybe she was becoming less herself. Because the dragon had a mask on and the mask unfolded to reveal like the base layer which looked like her face but like a bit more <clears throat> mechanical. She puts her foot on the face, on the mask and it kind of sucks her in. So this foot on the mask is like treading on dangerous waters maybe you know like i'm not i'm not sure i'm really going off on a whim here she puts her foot on her face and it kind of turns into like weird little shards of of metal and then she kind of falls into it and all of these fabrics are falling with her there might be curtains so like they think about like the curtains of a stage maybe they're all falling with her she's all falling with you know, the the downside of fame. She's falling and then it's flashing between her on the pole, uh, kind of representing, like, it makes you think, is uh, is this all a dream, you know? Because when you see it between the pole, you think, is she actually falling in this random abyss or is she actually just falling off the pole? Does that make sense? It's like a um, mirrored thing. So, you know, is the falling into the cave a metaphor for falling off the pole? <laughs> if that makes sense. And the whole thing being a metaphor of the downfall of fame. That that, that being the major metaphor. I, I don't know. You have to tell me because I could just be irritating you all right now and you're probably like, no, actually it's about this time that she made a cup of tea and she put the milk in first. You know, it could be something very simple and I could be missing the point, but I really don't think it is. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be simple, is it? It's like this stunning and like just how fantastic she is with her lyrics and every little detail of her music. It's not going to be about making a cup of tea, but I could still be wrong about it being about fame. So please let me know. Anyway, she's falling, she's falling. And then she finally lands into the dirt of a cave and she goes, ah, you know, she's like, ah, like she feels that hit. Um, and then she kind of like passes out. And then these women with masks on their heads with like, two eyes maybe it's a thousand eyes maybe it's a reference to thousand eyes being watched but they're all women and they're all i think they look like they're all black women i think so because they could all be like uh you know it made why i got so emotional was because my interpretation was like just how the media likes to bring down black women makes me so emotional Yeah, so, but then they started to cover her in the dirt and so on. So I was wondering if that was them bringing her, like, to be like, it's all right, you're with us now? Or is it like a, I don't know, I'm not really sure. I really, I'm going to look at that bit again. The word, the word, the word. Nurse, the hiding, the waiting and hoping I'm not enough. Well, it looks like the uh, mud or whatever it is actually woke her up. It looks like it actually healed her, and then the other women had like gone at that point. So then maybe they were just like waking her up and being like, no, 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 come on, like will heal you, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you have to hit rock bottom to climb up, if that makes sense. Um, please let me know what, like, is actually going on, and I just want to say I love the video, it made me extremely emotional. Uh, I am a very emotional person, so you'll probably see me get emotional quite a few times, I was trying to hold back from crying, because I feel like if I started crying, I'd cry forever and I'd get really, um, it would just be a terrible video. <laughs> I'm just so in love with it. It's like, I just keep wanting to watch it again. It's just got so much to it. Help me figure this out. Yeah, 
<laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction and I hope I didn't annoy any of you by being like dumb or anything, <laughs> not knowing what's going on. But you know, it is art and you do interpret it how you um, feel it. You interpret it in the way that you see it and like what it means and it, that's how it means something to you. Thank you so much. That was really good. I loved watching it and yeah see you next time and also don't forget to like and subscribe that would be literally amazing i've also got my fka twigs set of um i've also got my fka twigs uh magdalene album reaction out on the channel and i've also got lana del rey country house over the country club album and music video reaction if you're into lana del rey okay thank you bye how am down to one side Ella Berkeley out of city out of mind Killing it, talking shit Jones said she was gonna quit Tearing it up at the Afro Caribbean To snap out of San Francisco I've been covering Joni While I'm dancing with Joan It's kinda hard to find love When you're used to rolling like a rollin' star